Hey guys, it's your boy Bo here. Today we're going to be looking at replacing the solid state drive in a razor blade stealth. But before we get started, I just wanted to do a little disclaimer saying that I'm not responsible if you break your machine. This is just a guide. Use your common sense and don't break anything. Also, keep in mind that on Razer's website, it does say that if you open up your machine, that voids the warranty. Also, I wanted to say that I'm calling this video version 1 because I've not yet purchased another SSD. So all I am doing today is replacing the one that it came with to show how it is done. When I get a new SSD, I will do a full video including on how to transfer your operating system to the new solid state drive. Okay, let's get started. Tools needed. All you need is a Torx T5 screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver, a fairly small one. Step 1. Shut down your razor blade stealth. And it is seriously sad that I have to say that, but seriously, I know people that have not shut down their machine when trying to swap out hard drives. Step 2. Unscrew all 8 screws with a Torx T5 screwdriver. Step 3. Take off the back plate. Pull up slightly on the bottom and then slide down. When you pull up, you might feel a little bit of pressure from the top side. It might feel like there's another screw in, but it's a piece of plastic that is clipped in and that's why you want to slide down instead of continuing to pull up. Here we have the inside of the razor blade stealth. It is at this point that some people would unplug the battery. I have never done this before, so I don't really care. Out of all the times that I've replaced hard drives, I've never done it. Nothing bad has ever happened. But if you want to do it, here is where the battery connects to the motherboard. I think. Pretty sure. Step 4. Remove the flex cable that is covering up the solid state drive. Remove this flex or ribbon cable that connects the HDMI and USB port in the top left to the rest of the motherboard. Some people like to do this with tools like this one. I'm a fingernail guy, so I just use my fingernails. Step 5. Unscrew the solid state drive. With the Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew the one screw at the top of the solid state drive and slide it out. You want to be extremely careful at this point not to pull up on the SSD too much. The pins will for real break. Only pull up enough to slide out to the left side. You also may have to mess around with the cabling a little bit. One of my cables was underneath the SSD and one was above the SSD and I wasn't able to get it underneath. So I had to lift that one up and slide the SSD underneath that one but still above the other cable. Step 6. Replace the solid state drive. For this, you want to line up the pins like so with the notch toward the bottom. Get your SSD as flat as possible and slide it in. After that, obviously just screw in that screw. Step 7. 
Replace the flex cable. Replace the flex cable and press down on both sides firmly to make sure that it is snugly in place. Also, if you had unplugged the battery, you will want to plug it back in. Step 8. Replace the back plate. At this point, you will want to replace the back plate. And you may have to push down a little bit on the top right-ish area in order to get that piece of plastic to snap back in. Step 9. Screws Part 2. Remember those 8 screws that we took out? Let's put them back in. Step 10. Profit. Well guys, we're done. You can now boot to your OS install media and install your new operating system to your brand new, hopefully bigger than before, solid state drive. In the next video, we're going to be looking at some of the CPU benchmarks for the Razor Blade Stealth. Stay tuned.